How goes it all? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys have a great and exceptional day. Another week, another Tuesday, so let's keep the momentum going and things of that nature. Today's word of the day is deception. Now, before I even read about the specific um, definition of deception, in my, home day, in my home state of Virginia, you have a um, governor's race happening right now, and for the first time ever, I could say I, I don't see anything that's on the table for me, so that's why I'm not really worried about it. <laughs> um, I think this is one of those elections where it's like two people uh, basically come from the same background from an economic perspective, and you know that whichever one is elected, is, they're going to pursue their economic interests and their financial back of economic interests. Anything wrong with that? No, that's the American way. However, I'm just like at the point where uh, my, my economic interests are being served, so I ain't worried about playing. So the word of the day is deception, and deception stands for the action of deceiving someone. And I think a lot of times it comes boils down to politics. They've done a great job in deceiving people, uh, no matter what side that they fall on. And if even it's funny, like when the, the commercials I hear today sounds like the commercials I used to hear ten years ago. And it's like because we live in a digital age now, it's so easy to pick. You know, it's like back in the seventies and sixties, it was harder to harder to pull up old um, campaign ads and whatnot that were on the radio or that were on television and whatnot, unless you actually had a um, physical copy of the of the ad and things of that nature. But in the digital world, you can usually just put, pull it up somewhere on the, on the internet and it's going to show up. And it's like, okay, well, if you really listen to it, it all sounds the same at the end of the day. So <laughs> it's, it's a deception that... Um, that you get to see, and it's just, like I said, just very interesting at the same time on both sides of the, of the house. But um, I'm not, like I said, I don't care if you, if you vote, you do vote, or who you vote for, don't care. It doesn't affect my pocket, but I don't need to get crazy. I don't need to care about it. <laughs> but um, today's quote of the day is from T Tim uh, Notke, and he stated, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. I couldn't agree with that statement more. Great example. Um, LeBron James, one of the greatest basketball players on the planet, but he still works hard. Like he's a rookie and, and he still trains hard and he has professional trainers. And, you know, if you put, ever pull up his workout, he gets it in, in a big, big, big way. And he could be one of those people like, Hey, I got all the talent in the world. I can slack off and do it. No, there's no such thing as a slack there. Same thing. If you ever look at a Dwayne Johnson workout, you know, he's actually a decent actor um, but he works at his craft, um, always been in great shape and, you know, he could be like, Hey, I've been, the, I've been Dwayne Johnson and the rock for 20 some odd years. And, um, it doesn't, I, you know, I, I'm not no pun intended, but it doesn't matter what I do. Uh, and I could just, you know, become a slob and blah, blah, blah. But no, he actually takes his physique, um, seriously, not just for, you know, getting roles and whatnot in Hollywood, but he wants to be in the best shape possible because he knows with that it, it gives him a greater chance of living a longer life and whatnot. And, you know, putting that hard work in works wonders. So all the talent in the world means nothing if no hard work is put in. That's just what it is. So continuously to work hard so that you can play hard and that you don't have to be scared to walk the yard when it comes to you getting your economic independence. All right. So do the great three free things, family. Like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully you guys have a great day. As I always say, make money moves or you're going to live broke like a fool. Take care and thank you.